What up, YouTube fam? It's April G Showers, also known as the Bar Queen, with... It is your girl, Queen Berry, y'all, also known as Queen B. What's going on? Y'all know we here with episode two. Back at it again. The the queen's podcast Podcast. okay y'all better know all right (laughs) what is good know it know it (laughs) that's the sound look y'all better know so first and foremost we would definitely like to say thank you to everyone who tuned in to episode one thank you for all the comments i mean it, it means so much a special shout out to Devo, the Amber Bird. Yes, 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 Devo. Thank you, thank you, because you gave us a lot to talk about th- today, boy. I'm telling you, and next now. week, we and next and week. next week. Yeah, y'all remember to comment down below now because this is a podcast where we can talk about anything. This is where you can come and relax and just like you got a stress day and things like that. You come on here. We're talking about anything. And anything. when I say anything, no filter. Okay. Anything. So y'all just keep that in mind and make sure y'all be commenting down below to let me and April know what y'all what y'all want us to talk about. And this is y'all's, this is just as much y'all's podcast as it is ours. So yes. as long as y'all keep giving us stuff to talk about, that's how long we're gonna keep doing this. We're gonna so, keep it rolling. So y'all gonna keep us going. So first so off, relax. um in episode one, we got we were talking about two particular songs that I had said were my most difficult reactions, but also my favorite reactions and stuff like that. One was right. How Could You Leave Us by NF. The other was Darkness by Eminem. You said you had never heard those. I did send you the links to those. You did. You and, did. And, and said, wait to tell me what you think until the podcast. So I'm so excited to hear what you think about both of those Now, songs. I'm going to ask you this too. Didn't you tell me the NF song? That's based on a true story, right? Yes. That, that really happened with his mother and things like that, right? Yes. So I'll stop going into that video, watching it. It makes you want to cry. Like, you know what I'm saying? So when I was watching, I was just like, damn, I had to keep like rewinding and going back. And then, and then I was just like, yeah. And then I was just like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Those are real emotional tears. And then the ending part was what tore me up when he was just talking in the background and was hurt. Cause I can really visualize him in the booth reliving these moments and stuff feel and feel his pain. Yes. I could feel it through that entire song. And I was just like, I felt so bad because I was like a lot of people experienced it going through that and stuff like that. Like, why did you leave? You know what I'm saying? His words was like, yo, if you still here, because I feel you can, you know, still here. And I was just watching the kids and stuff and see a lot of us don't know that sometimes the things that we do really can affect another person or, you know, another child and stuff like they, they live with that forever. Yeah. You know, so that was just like really touching. Like that really touched. Did you cry? I did not cry, but I did feel the emotion. I was emotional with him. Girl, I was a basket case. But, you know, it, <laughs> hit, it hits home for me in more ways than one because I'm a right. recovering addict. And my drug was pills like his mom. My drug mm-hmm. of choice was pills like his mom. And then I'm also the loved one of many, many alcoholics one of which was my big brother who did die related to alcoholism from cirrhosis of the liver. So that song, you know, just hit me everywhere home. You know what I mean? (laughs) Yeah. And then Darkness by Eminem, what did you think of that? Now, Darkness with Eminem, it reminded me, like, watching it for the first time, I felt like um, a moment of his time, he was going through, like, a deep depression. And I thought that he was pretty much explaining like deep depressions of different people. Cause the only reason why I got that was at the end when he was looking at like all those different states and they were saying shooting here and this, that, and other there and things like that. That's what I got, but you can correct me if I'm wrong. But I felt like he was talking about a moment in his life where he was, you know, felt by himself and he was going through a deep depression. I think that that was part of it, but the entire song is actually a double entendre from one, the viewpoint as an artist, because you saw Mm -hmm. how, you know, at the end where he walks out and the curtains open, 
and he goes out on stage, you know, mm-hmm. and, and so yes. he's talking like, if you listen to the lyrics really closely, um, mm-hmm. like, listen to it again after I tell you this stuff, and you'll be like, oh, shit, you know what I mean? Um, but if you listen to it really closely, you can see where he is coming from the perspective of being an artist, being a, a famous person in the public eye view and how difficult that can be. Uh, he's also a recovering oh, addict. Boy. And then also the double entendre is the shooter's point of view, the Las Vegas mm-hmm you know, the big Las Vegas shooting at the Jason Aldean concert that happened a couple years back. You know what I'm talking about? I can't hear No, you. April. You know, sure, can you, you hear me? You don't know about the Vegas shooting? Was it like a concert or something that was going on outside? It was like a big concert? Okay, I think I read, like seen a glance of that in the news. Yeah, it's the biggest mass shooting that's ever happened in America. Oh, that's the biggest one? Mm-hmm. And how long ago did that happen? It happened. It wasn't that long ago. I, I was think- about to say, because I did see now, um, it came back to me. I did see something on the news, like a whole lot of people running and things like that and trampling over each other. Girl, they have... They it was a have, concert, like an outside concert or something? Yes, it was an outside okay. country concert. Jason Aldean was performing. It was... Okay. Uh, Sunday, October 1st, 2017. I think I've seen something on the news about that. But they have a video on YouTube about it where it is crazy. Like up close, people getting shot and stuff. It's yeah, crazy. I think I've seen a glance of that on the news when that took place, when that happened. Yeah. It's all painful, G. <laughs> I just came in, you know, I said, we, we, we getting the to- so we got to get her a room, y'all. That's it. We, we got to get her a room. We're going to get, yes. you know, I started in the bathroom and in, in laundry room. So we might start off in the laundry room. No, you got yeah. me messed up. <laughs> <laughs> laundry room. You got me messed up. Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, one of the things that Devo uh, said was plastic surgery, our thoughts on plastic surgery. I'll let you share your thoughts on Okay, that. so let me say this. First of all, I'm not going to judge nobody. You want to get plastic surgery, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? Hey, whatever floats your boat. Me personally, I'm going to do it the natural way. I know the natural way can take a little bit longer because you have to do it like a healthy diet and you have to work out. And that workout, it ain't no whole itself because you have to be, it has to be mental up here. Like you mm-hmm. have to get mental up here to force yourself to do that, to want to get the body that you like. But some people, hey, I got the money. You know what I'm saying? I want to go get this fixed. I want to go get that fixed. That's cool and everything. Um, But no, no, but that's cool. But me personally, because you have to upkeep the taxi surgery, you have to keep getting it done. If I was to go that route, I want to look the same every time I go get this plastic surgery. Right, I don't want right. to look like somebody different every time I go and get plastic surgery. Yeah, it's I want not my, worth you know the what I'm saying? You know, it's yeah, not worth like, the risk of something crazy going wrong and then you look right. like, like a damn mannequin out here. You yeah, and saying? then <laughs> right, and then my thing is it's like and I guess everybody has their own insecurities or how, you know, something, oh, but yeah. I can look at like a certain few people, celebrities, and I'll be like, damn, what's not wrong? Me in my eyes, what's yeah. nothing even wrong with you? Why are you going to do that? And then it's just, you got a whole new face and a, you know what I'm saying? But some people have those self insecurities that they want to get fixed. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So like I said, I'm not knocking nobody for plastic surgery or whatever. No. Um, some good shows about it is Botched and Nip Tuck. Those are I've on like Hulu both. or whatever. <laughs> yeah, both. so they give you like a get, good insight mm-hmm. on, you know, what they be doing and stuff. But I just prefer me, you know, the water, the eating healthy, the uh, exercise and working out and stuff like that to keep everything because... I'm another thing is I'm a big baby when it comes to needles and having to get cut and stuff like that. I didn't, I'm not finna be, you ain't yeah, gonna, and plastic you're not going to put me to sleep. Most plastic surgery is major surgery. So like, I'm not going to voluntarily have major surgery if it's not necessary. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
I just yeah. can't. I just couldn't like. I understand why some people, women and men, I understand why some people would want to get it. And by right. all means, if you have the money and you, I just think just like with anything, as long as you know your limit and do it in moderation because there's people that get addicted to plastic surgery right and then don't know their limit and then they come out looking like not their you know id right they come out looking like a totally new person because i mean you know that's their addiction like oh okay got my nose done now i want my uh, mouth done lizard dude they got his or snake guy, whatever. That is tongue. He got his tongue split. Yep. Had his face and all that all going on. Green and yeah. I was like, bro. Yes. Like, yes. You're like in your 20s. Let's say. <laughs> Imagine 40, 50 years down the road, he's in a nursing home. <laughs> he's so scared the shit out of <laughs> yes and you still got this split in your tongue yeah, like <laughs> what about his grandkids Lord. Oh, yeah. and see that's another thing too we got to think about what we're doing in our 19s and 20s and stuff like that we want to have to get you know older so all the i ain't gonna say mistakes but the things that we was like ooh, ooh, ooh too you know what i'm saying we all have to get old so yeah. it's like it's going to stick with you forever. So you have to make sure you're making the right decisions when it comes to these type of things, because like. Exactly. That's why the t- I have six tattoos. I hate that number. I want to get at least one more. I want my little brother's quote right <laughs> here on my forearm with his si- signature. Mm-hmm. Um, if mm-hmm. I live, I live. If I die, I live. Uh, oh. With Jordan right here. I know yeah. it, it'll hurt like a bitch right here, but I don't care. I have the Alabama A on this finger under these rings. You can see part of it a little bit. Yeah. Then I have, this is my son and my little brother's initials right there. Okay. I was going to get it right here, but mm-hmm. the tattoo guy said it would keep wearing off and I would have to keep getting it redone. So I just. And see, yeah. And. Here. That's what I learned about uh, tattoos on certain places of your body. Some of them will wear out quicker on your skin. Cause right. like I had got the little queen right here. It's time to, I had got it touched up already. Now it's time to get it touched up again. Oh, that's but I think cool. I, I stopped, I think I stopped counting at 18. Yeah. He got the king on his and I got the queen on mine, awesome. but I think I, I stopped counting at 18. I don't know how many I got now, but I used to love getting tattoos when I was younger and stuff like I that. I can still get them too. They, uh, I know my tattoo guy, he was like, man, I want to do uh, like artwork on you because I'm the type that'll fall asleep around, you know, yeah. getting a tattoo in the way. Yeah. Wherever I got a tattoo at, none of my tattoos hurt me. A lot of people go, like, oh, that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. You get on back. That's going to hurt. Like, no, nah, I actually love them. I was like, I go to sleep getting tattoos. So they don't, yeah, they don't bother me at all. Then I've I got, love it. those are the, those uh, three. And then my other three, I got a cross behind this year and then i mm-hmm. got the brain cancer awareness ribbon it's the gray ribbon around this year for my little brother and then okay. i got the chinese symbol for survivor on the back of my neck and okay. then i got galatians 6 9 on my back which so is- all your tattoos mean yeah they have a meaning behind that's how i was too when i first started out getting mine like certain ones like my kids names that's on me i still got to get Jaden added to me but yeah like starting out they meant something to me now when i get a tattoo i'm just like oh that's cute i want it yeah so but majority of mine do have a meaning behind all of them yeah, so, yeah. I, I i used to be against tattoos because of what i was taught you know, that the Bible mm-hmm. says you're not supposed to get tattoos, but once I got old enough to do my own research and started researching that in the biblical context behind that, it means, it says don't put any markings on your skin, but it means for pagan gods, false gods, false idols. That's my alarm. And so... Yeah. Um, 
it don't mean like I don't think I'm gonna go to heaven and God's gonna say, "Oh, you got those six tattoos that mean all that stuff." Oh, go to hell. You know what I mean? Like I just that's yeah. not the God I serve. Right. Anyway, right. But bad to plastic surgery. And I was gonna yeah, I was getting ready to say um as far as like plastic surgery so. Two of my sisters, you know, they want the BBLs, you know, the Brazilian butt stuff or whatever. So, for an example, she went That's to a consultation a and everything. Brazilian I guess when they get their butt, they get their, yeah, their butt lift. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. But see, the doctors, too, finding out by them that they won't do your surgery. Like, you have to be a certain weight going in. Like, you can't weigh too much. And then you can't weigh too less or whatever. Or they're going to, you know, they'll push you schedule because they mm. won't do the surgery if you're overweight and you need to get a certain weight or if you're underweight and you need to get above your weight so they'll turn you down for months because that's what they did it's like okay you're gonna have to lose some weight and some other sister you're gonna have to gain some weight so they pushed it for like three months then you go back and then they can move further on with you know so not a lot of doctors due to safety reasons will just unless they just some grimy it. ones that just want the money and stuff and be like, okay, I can do it. But now the real ones, they're going to be like, nah, you got to be a certain weight, certain size in order to get this. So right. that's what they're going through right now. Now, one thing I don't agree with and will never agree with, and if it offends anybody, oh well, is allowing your kid to have plastic surgery. I don't hmm. think people should allow their minors to have plastic surgery now unless like mm -hmm. if they're in a car wreck or they're born with some deformity or something like that then yeah. i understand but i mean for vanity reasons purely mm -hmm. just because of looks appearance right I, I, yeah i just i i'll never agree with that right you know but yeah. like if my son say got his nose broke god forbid like playing baseball or something yeah and, and it requires crooked and he needed plastic surgery to fix it of course i would allow him but if he right. just came to me and was like mom i hate my nose can i have plastic surgery it's a hard no <laughs> yeah you know you're just 14 no mm -hmm. Cause you right. know, I mean, they're still growing. You don't know really. And then when they turn 18, they can do what they want to do. Yeah. You know? But at that, yeah, at that age, you're still growing. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're going to change within each age anyway. So it's like, okay, I want my nose done now. But three years from now, I was tripping. I wanted my yeah. nose done now. I don't even want it done. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, right. yeah, but that's my intake on, uh, that's my intake on plastic surgery like to each his own like well, you like what you like i like what i like hey me too do you think and a lot of people's looks really good you know it looks really nice and pretty mm, yeah but then there are some who you can t definitely <laughs> tell you know what i'm saying and you're like okay i think somebody's got a little addiction going. right yeah you know what i'm saying right. But, Those be all yeah. over here like this. Eyeball, <laughs> Their face yeah. don't move. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Stuff just like that. Girl, what you see? What you see, girl? You think what I'm, you see? Do you, does it look like I'm frozen? Yes. Did you ask me my name? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all right. The next, the next, okay. <laughs> the next one. Oh. Okay, okay. That uh, all right. <laughs> okay. There's have some tears right there. Let me go ahead and get that. All right, we can. Devo, am I saying it right, Devo? Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you again. Thank you again for that topic. Look at April. She's still in her plastic surgery, y'all. She's still gone. <laughs> Look at my high cheekbones. I got them model cheekbones. Right. That's about the Man. only model thing I got is the cheekbones. 
Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Man, now that was funny. Okay. <laughs> okay. The next one is, and by the way, Devo, um, we're going to, the topics we don't cover that you gave us, we will cover next week's episode mm. unless mm. something happens throughout the week yep. that we need to cover but we will get to them those will be added in there yes. yeah those will be added in there but y'all know me three. ocd <laughs> i got everything wrote down so see i got my book too that's what i said i'm, <laughs> I'm a big note taker too yeah all and, right um, the next um subject catfishing so we've all seen the, the show Catfish on MTV, at least I have. I've seen damn near, if not every episode. What do you think of that? As far as catfishing, I honestly would just say, if you like somebody, just be real with yourself. Exactly. Because... They go what's for you, out. what's for you, that's what I'm saying. And what's for you is for you. Why my thing is, why would I sit here for months? Okay, leading somebody on, like putting all this time into leading somebody on. And when they finally find out, it's like it blows up in your face when you can just be like, oh, I'm gonna keep it real from day one. Yeah, I really like this person. If they like me, they're gonna fuck with me. If they not, then you know, so be it. There is somebody for somebody in this world out there for somebody so See, I, I, I just say i don't agree I'm, with that but i do agree why not? with everything else she said but why not because why you don't agree with that I, I i don't believe that everybody in the whole universe is meant to get like married and meant to be with someone so you um, think that what well, so just to touch on that so you saying that pretty much okay because this is your belief you don't believe that right so you believe that I guess I'm trying to see what your belief is that some people on this earth are meant to die alone, like meant to not have anybody. When meant, you say you don't it's believe, meant to be single, meant to be single. Mm -hmm. And it's oh. and the reason I say this is because for many many years, like I've been in and out of terrible relationships. You know, I've been physically abused, mm -hmm. mentally, emotionally abused, cheated on, you name it, and. I was like, okay, what's wrong with me? You know what I'm saying? Like, is, I'm the common denominator in this bitch. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, what's going on? And, like, I started doing research with my nerdy ass. Mm -hmm. And I did biblical research on it. And it states in the Bible that not every person is meant to get married and that there are a few not a lot most the vast majority are meant to get married you know and have oh yeah see party. no i'm not i'm not knocking the marriage or none of that that part i was just knocking the whole um not knocking at all because as far as the marriage yeah i can get that some people yeah. may just want to be in a relationship for the rest of their life and not get married some people are not ready for that things well, like that i, I mean, was just, just saying this, like uh, actually being by yourself though yeah well that's, alone in that's the world. what i mean too not not everybody's meant to have a partner whether it's through marriage or you know you live together right. and you never get married or whatever and the bible actually calls says that those people have a higher calling on their life the ones mm -hmm. that aren't meant to have a partner you know what well I mean? they probably meant here to work you know to work man if that's the case yeah i mean but everybody's beliefs and how they feel and think yeah. about certain things is I mean, different it's cool if people you know don't what I'm agree so, with me that's totally cool right i right. just you know um for i guess for so long i was the type of woman uh that i always thought i had to have a man i needed a man I had to be in a relationship. I was never like the whole type, you know, mm -hmm. I was always the serious relationship type girl. Um, that's just how I've always been. And 
the couple times that I was in love, like actual true love, you know, mm -hmm. it, it, mm -hmm. they treated me terribly, you know, and then the one person, <laughs> I'm so dumb, the one person who I wasn't like in love with, but I really cared about him a lot. I let him go for a, for a dumbass. And of course he, he's now married with kids and happy and I'm glad he is. And I wish him nothing but and see, happiness. Yeah. But he's the one that got away. We just I, have to keep our eyes open for that one because it'd be that one. Yeah. I was the girl that, you know, I wanted the bad guys, wanted to change people, wanted to help people and, you know, stupid shit like that. No, it didn't That well. was me too. You me can't too. Young change nobody and but no. yourself. Young, I was young and dumb. Yeah. I like them bad ones too and wanted to try to help change. It's just like, as I started getting older, I was like, look, I can't do this shit no more. I, I, I can't. Yeah. I've, I've been trying to help you for so long. I didn't lost my damn self. self and now yeah. I got to find myself again because exactly like, this is that's toxic. I can't like I got to find me again. I got to love me. Again. I got to start over and figure out who I am now because I invested all my energy and drained myself on trying to fix you and get you correctly, and I lost myself in the midst of it. Exactly. So I, you know, I'm saying I promised myself like never again. Never again would I do this. It took me over 30 years to get to the point. Like, it took me going to rehab, mm -hmm. you know, being institutionalized in rehab for three months, getting out of rehab, um, changing who I hung around. Uh, and then I, about six months out of rehab, got into a weird tight relationship with the guy I'd gone to high school with he was in recovery so mm -hmm. uh, and we had a lot in common we knew each other from high school we used to hang out in so high school. so you saying you knew who he was it wasn't no catfish right you knew exactly who he was yes okay but <laughs> but he was the type that he would like play with my brain and my mind and my Your emotions mental. You know, because yeah. one minute he would be like flirting with me and acting mm -hmm. like he was like attracted to me in a romantic type way. And mm -hmm. then the next minute the motherfucker was calling me his buddy. First of all, I ain't nobody's buddy. buddy. I, hate, I hate that. It reminds me of that damn, remember that damn, uh, the two damn dogs? From Toys R Us, that uh, my buddy. Yeah, yeah. My buddy, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wherever I go, he she goes. goes to kid sister, kid sister, kid sister. Right, my kid sister in me. me. <laughs> Man. One thing I hate, and then you know, my husband, he do it, he tend to do it all the time, is I can't. Well, yes, this is just yes, me. Like I can't say what somebody be like, uh, or he'll do it on purpose, like, uh, my baby mama. And I'll be like, no, I'm the mother of your child, you're the right. father of my child. Like, I can't or stand that time, baby. That I'm your wife, yeah. you're my man, and he'll do it on purpose because he know that gets under my skin. Um, another slang term that I have always hated for women, partners of men is my old lady. This is my old lady. It's like. Old oh, lady. Old oh, lady. That, yeah, that's what it's, a, I, I think it's a Southern it's a, thing. I've never heard it, it from up North, but I've always heard it down South. People say my old lady, my old lady. To me, I'll be feeling like that's a term for something else because you're around somebody. You know what I'm saying? So you're trying to cover up. Right. Right. I'm like, oh, old lady. I'm putting your old lady last night. Ain't your yeah. old lady. I'll show you, old mother. Right. But, uh, <laughs> but as far as, you know, the catfishing, I'm right there with you. Like, I think that's why I won't do dating apps. I won't, if I, I get messages all the time, especially on Instagram from people 
talk about being my sugar daddy, talk about, oh, you're so beautiful, I would just love to talk and get to know you, talk right. about this and that on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. You know what? And I still get that being that I'm married, and it's a, to me, I think that's a, a mad disrespect because it's like, yo, you, you can read in my titles. It'll tell you what's going on. Mm-hmm. So that's the automatically block, like block, block, yep. block. Better tell you, I'm quick with the block. I block you. Quick. I, me too fast. And, you know, and you and, won't and, never and, get unblocked. <laughs> and my thing is, block, if you said block. right. Yep, and my thing is, if you're going to say hello, you better make sure you're saying within the next few minutes what you're saying hello for, because even if I get a, ho- a hello, I'm like, block. Yeah. Because it's like, what you up to? What, what, what? Hello. And I say, you know, hey, how you doing? And then I block. Bro, this dumbass block, literally block, block, texted block. me, acted like he was Eminem. Okay, I played along because I love having fun and and fucking with him you know and he was like hey what's up uh miss april i still have the whole conversation in my Mm -hmm. phone because i was gonna make a video on it uh he of him impersonating eminem he was like i know you've been a big fan of mine since 1999 which means he's been watching my stuff Mm-hmm. And he's like, just wanted you to know I appreciate uh you and all this kind of stuff. And and I knew it wasn't him. Right. I, because one, it didn't have a blue check mark. He tried to yeah. make it look like it had a blue check mark, mm-hmm. but it wasn't no real blue check mark. But two, Eminem don't follow nobody on no social medias. <laughs> And he followed, I don't know how many people, and Eminem wouldn't do something like that. And it's yeah. just, but I played along. I said, Oh my God, is it really you? <gasps> oh, I've waited my whole life to talk to you. Like, I just played along. And oh my gosh. Went along with it. And then he tried to get me to download some app called WhatsApp or some shit. Where you can yeah. talk or something. Mm-mm. I don't even know what that is. No. It's pretty much where you can, it's another way of talking. If you ain't trying to talk through your actual number, you can communicate people through messages and things like that and uh have conversations outside of your number without giving out your real number and stuff yeah. like that. And I asked him, I said, well, I said, uh, you know, I was I knew immediately he wouldn't M M&M, But I asked him when he said that about WhatsApp, do you have WhatsApp? I said, no, I don't even know what that is. He said, well, download it so we can talk more privately. And I I said, we are talking privately. What are you talking about, you know? He's trying to cover his ass. Yeah, and I said, you know, we are talking privately. What are you talking about? And he was like, oh, just trust me. You you know, uh, I'm Marshall. I would never lie to you and all this shit. And, and, oh and lord! I was, me and my Cat, sister, so, in other words, he was a catfish. Yeah, because he was saying somebody he's not like you're exactly. not Eminem. And my son and I were sitting here. What I mean, we were laughing, dying laughing, so hard at this idiot. And I screenshotted the whole conversation. I've got it saved in my phone, and uh, I reported him for impersonating someone else. You know. Right. So, uh yeah, it catfishing, mm-hmm. you know, it's crazy too. Another thing that's sad is the people that catfish just for the sole purpose of hurting someone. They don't do it like, oh, I'm attracted to them. I really like this person. I really do want to be with this person, but I'm it's too like an insecure. addiction to them to hurt. Yeah, it's yeah, like to, to hurt somebody. They're not like, oh, I'm just too insecure about my looks, or they're, they're not going to like how I look, so I'm just yeah. going to pretend. I, it's somebody that's like, ah, oh, this is fun. This is a game. Let's hurt people. Let's fuck with And then some people be getting catfish from like six to seven months to close to a year. Like, people yeah. be really going. Like, and see, my thing is this, though. 
like if you ain't met this person after six months or whatever, or if you ain't met them within this time frame, the off top, something got to tell you, like something got to click in there and say, okay, something is wrong. Like yeah. we've been talking now for about six months. I haven't seen you. Every time we try to meet up, you saying this, you saying that. Right. Now it's going on eight months. We still ain't seen each other. We ain't made no phone calls. Like I don't get how people can like, because most of the time when you're getting catfish, sometimes like you're not actually physically seeing them. Right. They not doing no FaceTime. Like, you got to FaceTime me. I'm going to need you to got me. <laughs> I need to hear your voice. We're not talking through no... I'm not going to keep texting and messaging and trying to figure out what your voice sounds like. Exactly. And all this type of stuff. Like, I'm finna call you on your shit. Because exactly. if you can't show me none of this, then you know what I'm saying? Like, no. Like, come on. Like, Ooh. But some people will really just be in, oh, I love just to... No, I got to see you. I got to hear you. I got to... Yo, what's up? And see, you like I said, I can't do the dating apps. Even before the show Catfish came out, I couldn't, I just don't trust it because you don't really know who you're talking to. Right. You could, you could go meet up with this person <laughs> at a public place and they seem so nice and they're a gentleman and whatever, whatever. And you decide to go back to his place or whatever, and then the motherfucker murders you or whatever. I watched. And see, I watched too most, much no, true because, crime. No, <laughs> no, because most of that, no, because that, that really can't happen. No, that's like that's it the number one site now where they yeah. do. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the number one site where people go to killers, or whatever you call yourself, go to do that because yeah. it's easy to linger. A person yeah. in and say I did and meet me here and then boom, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Yeah. It's Cat, don't I don't play with catfishing, like I said. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh-uh. I don't know. Nope. Me neither. I'll eat me a fried right. one, but that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's about it. All right. The next you know? <laughs> uh the next and last uh subject, uh, and once again. Devo, the ambivert. We will get to your other topics. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. And we will get to your other topics on episode three next Sunday. Um, unless something happens this week that we need to talk about. But well, I know we'll at least get to one or two more of your topics next week. Mm -hmm. sure. Yes, because they they yeah. So the once you gave us two was some juicy ones. Yes. The last topic uh, is the female singer pissing on a willing fan's face. Now, this singer, she's the lead singer for the group Brass Against. Her name is Sophia Eurista. She, I believe, was either on The Voice or she was on The Voice. Uh, Molly, yeah, the voice. Molly Cyrus was her coach, and she was uh, let go kind of early on but um did you watch that link i sent you of that girl yes i did and i just gotta tell you april girl you told me you said p okay let me tell y'all what i think about when somebody say p oh i gotta pee pee a little bit that girl did not pee she <laughs> pissed okay it seemed like she was holding that shit for that pissed. moment she i sat there pissed. Right, I sat there and I seen it, and I was like, "Oh, M fucking G, and you the got dude to be." It's laying on the ground like, ah. and then my thing was, I was like, at least have some class, girl, and ask one of your people back there to get some tissue, wipe your stuff, instead of just pulling it back up and pulling your pants back up. Now that's that nasty. nasty. <laughs> <laughs> poster thing and put mm -hmm. uh typed at the top what in the actual fuck is going on here that everybody was... else had posted this video on instagram too not just me i mean where the fuck you think i saw it hell you think i look shit like that up no right you know what i mean I saw it on IG and I'm like, who the fuck is this? Cause it didn't have yes. any it didn't have any tags or anything. So I started Googling and doing my little research like always. 
and right. I, and I found it and I was like what the fuck? yeah and I and, screen and, recorded it and and put it on one of their posters and said that posted it and, excuse me Instagram removed it for nudity and sexual mm. something and they would not allow me to be uh monetizable and be able to get like badges and stuff from people when I go live on IG for that one video. One video that, in man, two that and a half though. years. One that, video in two and a half years. And I'm like this much and I go look to see if they had taken all these other people's down and all theirs is still just up and pissing away right, just piss. and, and i'm like i was just like man watching that video though for real for real i was over here like yo i was looking like yo because she like i said she she peed i was like dude's eyes had to be burning he enjoyed he just it down though. there. He and I mean, that shit. because, and it's crazy to believe that because, like, people have fetishes. That was probably a fetish for him and her. Because, like yeah. I said, she had, she, it looked like, like, to me, I was like, Heather, you've been had to pee. Yeah. Oh, that pee coming out of you. Yeah. It's like, like, it's she was like, gonna say, like she yeah, she I'm gonna hold, gonna, I'm holding it for that moment. Yeah. It's like she knew she was gonna <laughs> do it. And on break, like, when she ran back to change her outfit or something, she chugged like a gallon of water or beer or fucking something you know what he probably had all her shows and that's her number one fan and she do that and probably had damn near all her shows and stuff like that because who's gonna she didn't even mention uh, nothing on the mic you know to what? Me, that was just i'm sorry it's gross and if it is a fetish if you're one of them golden showers type of people to each his own whatever but that don't take away from the fact that you nasty because that's gross nasty nasty it's disgusting <laughs> it's disgusting i don't care who you are I I, and honestly if i are. seen something like that i would have left i would have got up and left like are you serious like and then the fact that you represented the voice <laughs> and stuff like that so now you're gonna be known the girl that pissed in the fan's face forever i had to re-watch that video because i couldn't believe how much piss was coming piss not pee yeah, was coming out of I, her. I can't understand. I'm like, damn, I don't even piss that long. I don't understand. Is that normal? How that could be a fetish. Like, what in your brain clicks like? People got like different fetishes. Like, you know, oh, I know, but it's some like, people like getting, some people like getting slapped around, beat some on upside like their head. Some people like. Spit in their mouth, yeah. Suffocated and all kind of crazy shit. That's but it. yeah, that's like that's the... you know, a host is there and you're in the moment and you're like, Oh yeah, oh baby, oh please piss in my mouth. Oh I know. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, it's like what Ooh. the fuck, bruh? <laughs> Yeah, I just I I'll never understand certain fetishes. Certain fetishes right, are like you had a, a whole concert. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> and the crazy thing, if you notice the crowd, they were cheering and shit. You know, they were like, she, she probably could have pissed on a few people's faces. She should have had more. She should have had more than one fan up there with all that piss. <laughs> she should have had more than one up there. That was so disgusting, bro. Yeah, she had enough for about five of them. And let's just talk about not even the fact that she pissed like that on a fan who was willing to let her do that. Laying there, but the hygiene issues and stuff i mean all that bacteria in somebody's urine and you're mm. putting it in your mouth and nose and sh everywhere Ugh. and then don't let's not forget after you did not wipe your little cooter 
Uh, you pissed and then pulled them panties up, pulled your pants up and kept the wrap. Which I don't proves a- my point. Bacteria. You already know it's up in there. A lot of it. But she yep. don't wipe. Nasty. <laughs> Nasty. 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 So what, what my thoughts was on that? Nasty. Yes. Trifling. You remember that song by Jada Jackson? That nasty, nasty bitch. She likes to piss on her fans. Oh, come get oh, you this nasty piss. Boy. <laughs> nasty, nasty. Boy. Gonna piss on your face. <laughs> uh, right, that's uh, it. Uh, 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 I might oh, catch and, a case. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, right. Oh, yeah, he just man that that remember, fool that fool that just song, on though? like the real just on the phone. What with Janet Jackson? Yeah. I remember her nasty boy. Yeah, boy, it's a whole it's something. About. Yeah, yeah, nasty, nasty, nasty boy. boy. And he Don't just out here taking all that thing. Nasty boys don't mean a thing. Dude, okay. Yes, yeah, that was disgusting. Yeah, was gross. Yes. Yeah. I don't know how you can get off by that, but to like you said, to everybody's on. Yeah, but I think too shit like that should be done in private. Like not for the world to see. Why? I don't know, man. Why would you have a platform with all these people watching you? I'm sure some kids are fans, and they see that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, uh-uh, uh, bro. Uh-uh. Yeah, that's, it's that's disgusting. a bit being too much. Yeah, it's too much. Out of mm-hmm. pocket. It's too much. Too much. Well, this is yeah. fun. It was. Since we have topics now, it goes, you know, more smoothly and stuff. So. Right. I think then we have one more topic of uh, Valentine. Oh yeah, I'm Come sorry. On now, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I know. Go ahead. Okay. Well, since we're still in the month of February, I wanted to bring up a topic because I wanted to see, like, when I was going in the stores or whatever, you know, I noticed that not only this year but last year too that the Valentine's, you know, aisles have been fully stocked. And I'm shocked because normally I'll be wanting to go and get my little chocolates. I had the little cherries and stuff in. And when and I'm getting ready gone. to go get those off the right, they're gone. So I was shocked that I could grab about a good four or five boxes. I was like, what they here? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So my thing was, I was just like, you know, what's going on? Like right. no side pieces, no nothing, getting anything this year. <laughs> well, <laughs> the, the, the shelves was full. My take, so, I think, I think one for me it's several things one i think a lot of us during these difficult times are baroque as hell we're broke what? as hell and, and uh don't want to waste money on a bullshit holiday that's just a money ploy to get money out of people anyway because every day should be a day if you're in yeah. a relationship every day you shouldn't have to have a special day to right. buy your girl or your man something nice or mm-hmm. take them out to dinner or go to a movie or just chill at home and yeah because that should be that's, that should yeah be that should be something done but like, let me tell you that day goes that day go by so quick every year yeah for me and my husband because like it's just a regular day like we don't even we celebrate now. Don't get me wrong. He'll buy me some flowers and some stuff like that or whatever, and I get him a little something. But we don't go hard like some people actually go. Well, lately, ain't nobody been going hard. <laughs> but <laughs> and I don't necessarily think that some of us broke because you got chocolate candies in there for two, three dollars. You know what I'm saying? I just think I'm just like because at once upon a time it used to be huge. Yeah, so my intake yeah, on it is like true. you know what I'm saying, like. And then again, it's not just based on a significant other. It could be your mother, it could be your sisters, your brothers, right. you know, family members and things like that. It's just not based on 
me and my husband or you know this girlfriend boy it's based on you know what i'm saying but i was just shocked to see the shelves full this year yeah you know what i'm saying because normally I mean, them things is empty i didn't notice yeah. it because i mean well one i really had i've been to the store i think once maybe twice this month mm-hmm. and i didn't go down no valentine aisle I ain't got no reason. Look, I ain't even have to go down the aisle. Like the aisle is full. You can see you walk by that thing full. That's why I noticed it was a Valentine's Day. Oh, damn. Normally it's empty, so you ain't able to see shit. But I walk by and I'm like, damn, this aisle full of shit. Yo, like, where is the love? That shit shit reminds me of, you know, the uh, Pimp Chronicles by Cat Williams, the stand up. His comedian, the um, uh, yeah, where he he talks about this song. Rick Ross is uh hustling every day. I'm hustling, hustling. I'm trying and to remember that. He said, "You walk at the grocery store, and if that song starts playing, even if you got seventeen dollars to your <laughs> name, that song oh, yeah. starts playing. You go down yeah, the I- aisle, <laughs> so you go down the Valentine aisle, so you go down the aisle, and that song's playing." Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. That's the hype song. Make you had, yeah, you got money. That was funny. I remember that part too. I love it. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. I remember that too. But yeah, oh, I, I think we covered. I think we covered most of uh, Levo's topics that he got. You know, like I said, yeah. well, like sorry, you said, we'll be I able to. I'm sorry, I didn't bring up the Valentine Day thing. Valentine's. Oh Day. no, it's cool. We was on uh Pissy Girl in the fan. Yeah, so my bad. It kind of yeah, it kind of took us. You know. I, what I should have done is went in order, but oh, but you was moving around. But I jumped around because. I, I got the how could you leave us in darkness at the very bottom, but we started with that since we talked about that last yeah. week. So so okay, okay. With, with how could you leave us in darkness? Mm-hmm. Which which song did you like the best out of those two? Um the how could you leave us? Yeah. Yep, yeah, how could you leave us? Because like I said, even though I didn't cry, it was an emotional attachment that I got with him yeah whatever because his tears were real the story behind his song is real so yeah it's in my top five for a reason yeah you were Uh, telling me that people give me shit for him being in my top five because he hasn't been rapping you know 30 years or whatever Mm -hmm. but i'm like i told you last week i am a sucker for substance Every song he puts out is just substance. Sub- I'll send you a couple more links to some of my favorites by him, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I've done mm-hmm. uh, a couple covers and a couple remixes to his songs. So, okay. and yeah. I may I may have one another one coming soon. Just saying. Okay, well, that's what's up. So I I know you told me that you started on Snowfall because you know that dropped on the 23rd. So mm-hmm. what you, you know, we talked about it a little bit. You feeling it though so far? Oh yeah, I'm feeling it 100% and I can't wait to dig okay. deeper into it. I only watched uh, all the first episode and I got through part of the second episode and fell asleep. So, okay. and then tonight, yeah. you know, I'll be editing for uh this podcast to be able to premiere tomorrow so i'll be watching yeah. though tomorrow night after this podcast premieres but i'm okay. excited to get well, into good, that because yeah. that 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 may be one thing we talk about next week y'all is snowfall depending on if i'm able to mm-hmm. get get caught up or and if some of y'all seen it if some of y'all seen yeah. it, if y'all ain't seen it now's the time to go ahead because they just dropped season five um on the 23rd of this month so you have time to like kind of catch up that way you'll know what's going on but it's yeah. really, really good uh, only if you are into that drug lord type of things and stuff right. like that some people may not be in those type of movies because i watched the you know uh narcos mexico and all that good stuff all the me too drug lords and uh, all like that i'm into all that if so. you're into like scarface type shit yeah. blow 
Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, the, those type of movies, then Man, you'll, you'll Snowfall like is Snowfall. For you. Yes. That's it, for you. Yes. That's for you. It's amazing. So you got, you know, you got time. Like you said, we may talk about it in episode three. Yeah. I actually loved it. it. Was you know killed those episodes. So did you already yep, you're watch not too late. the new season? Uh uh-uh, uh, not yet. Because remember, I told you I started four, but something else sidetracked me. So now I'm catching up on four because they dropped two episodes back to back for season five. Oh okay. So normally okay. they yeah normally they only normally they only do one, but they gave us yeah. two. So I was like, oh yeah. So let me hear we catch up on four real quick, and then I'm going on into the five. Did you so ever get to I'm watch at. We Were Soldiers? No, I ain't okay. got to watch none of the. I I ain't got to watch none of the movies that you recommended this week. I've been okay. extremely busy doing okay. a lot I was of stuff, just but, oh, but on my downtime, I'm so curious what you think of that. Yeah, movie. I just say on my downtime, I will definitely. It's based on a true story, so remember that when yeah. you watch it, it's really good. Okay, but yeah, yeah y'all, this has been awesome again. I want yep. to shout out and thank. Devo the Amber Vert, the biz is cool yep. like ham and jerk. That's his intro. Right. Uh, I'm going to shout us. out. Uh, go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Forget, we keep saying the same thing. The same <laughs> thing. That's so funny. For giving us some amazing topics. That's what we want from y'all is for y'all to give us topics, any topic, anything. I don't care what it is. We don't care mm-hmm. what it is. We'll talk about it this is y'all's podcast like i said just as much as it is ours and also yep. with devo the amber Burt, he is also a reaction bar breakdown channel so be sure to go subscribe to devo the amber Burt and yes. miss so. queen b over here miss queen b you know. started she's trying to sneak it she tried to be sneaky yeah. about it yeah yeah you know about it but i i i seen her I seen her. You she, see me? She put a reply under uh, one of the comments on our last on episode one, and it said instead of what it used to say, it said <laughs> with the with the nice fancy picture and with that bright green background. I snuck on popping, there. Popping, yeah. And, 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 and it said thank you, you know, and it said Queen B reacts. I said, <laughs> I see you. Now I've been a post it everywhere. That was so funny. And I posted I like... it on my community page, <laughs> on Twitter, and on Instagram. Everybody go subscribe. Let me tell you. Thank you for the April though, because I had 15 subscribers and I didn't have no videos up yet. <laughs> <laughs> After you did that post. And I was like, I ain't got now video, but thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. And please you know go. Saying? subscribe to her y'all queen b reacts i will leave the link to her channel in the description box so y'all be sure to click on that i'm also going to leave the link to devo the ambiverts channel down in the description box because he took the time to sit there and list i i mean he listed one yeah two three four five six seven at least seven topics for us to discuss so right. you know he helped to make this episode so yeah. you know be sure to go show support to him uh right and what did you support. want to say oh and i'm just going to thank everybody that tuned in for uh episode one that was in the chat with us because it was so funny y'all thought we was live and it was yeah. pre-recorded <laughs> <laughs> but I want to let y'all know we was live in the chats, y'all. We was live, but yeah, we do pre-record our yeah. um show on Saturdays and then you know make sure we got it up on Sundays, six um central her time, seven eastern my time. So yes. you know, yeah, but we are there when it airs. So just yes. know that, y'all. <laughs> yes, it, yeah, we pre-record it that way, you know. I can edit to input the title and which episode it is and all that fancy schmancy stuff on it. Yeah. So yeah but um this has been awesome y'all please do not forget please please do not forget to comment below and let us know some topics you would like to hear us discuss yeah anything and everything okay because our next you know episode three we might be bringing some juicy topics now yeah i don't know if you've seen uh what is it okay it's on netflix 
they were supposed to be coming out with a season two, but it's called uh it's pretty much on um 50 50 uh shades of gray and stuff like that, but it's on Netflix. You know, I I've never three. watched I think it's shades called Oh I love me so I want to, but I never have. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Let me hey, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Girl, Magic who wa- Mike. Oh, who watched some Fifty uh, Shades of Grey? I know some of y'all didn't see that, so you know what I'm talking about. So when I name this thing on Netflix, I'm gonna need y'all to you go and see that Magic real quick Mike. too. Before I get up out of there, who is Magic Mike? Is that a what? Uh, who is Magic? It's Mike? a movie. Oh, Girl, what? hold on, hold on. Go to YouTube right now on your phone. Google these exact, uh, look up these exact words. Hold up. Okay. Before this, before I slip on this, Netflix, three, six, three, um, 365 days. Okay. Watch that. Okay. Okay. Go to YouTube. Y'all thank me later. All right. Okay. You, uh, so Netflix, on, 365 days. And so go to YouTube right now, girl. And I want go you to, to type in this. Magic my pony and click on it right now. I want to watch your reaction live. Is this a, a movie? Uh-huh. I think I've seen uh um, but which one is so many up here? Which one I need to be seeing? Because it's one where he working in this little hold house. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, this not the one. house, not the house. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll tell you which one. Click on the one. Where he, he's down, click up, type in Magic Mike Pony, and then click mm-hmm. click on the one where it says Pony Magic Mike, and then underneath that it says Cody Adams. Okay, let me just try typing that Cody Adams in it because like it's giving me everything Cody Adams. And it's got dude on his knees on the floor in a white wife beater tank top shirt. With his hands on his chest. Okay, I think this is it. It It, went blank. It's one minute. Oh, here we go. All right. It's one minute, 22 seconds. Yep, yep. I want to see your live reaction. Let's get into this. Let's go. Let's go. Let me see. Okay, is it getting ready? This is my man, girl. This is my man. Are you dancing the genuine too? Let's go. Come on now. Oh, <laughs> look how she's trying to keep a straight face. Okay. to keep the straight face she knows she wanted to be like me well that's that's when she caught him doing his real job she didn't know oh what he did and for what, and you you say what look at me and you say um what is this on again magic can I find my- <laughs> yeah but what can i find the actual movie where what is it on uh let's see hold up I, will. girl i have the dvd there's magic mike uh two as well but the first one is the best one. Channing Tatum was the guy dancing. He's from Alabama, and he is, oh, my God. As you <laughs> saw, when he flips her upside down. Yeah. You see, see it didn't get that far. It didn't get that Girl. far, but that's cool. I'll watch that when we get off of here. <laughs> 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 I watched that in my own time. You was like, okay. So, uh, 
yeah, you definitely you gotta pay for it, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Now, I told you if it's worth it, I pay for it. But make sure you get the one. It's Magic Mike from 2012. Me and okay. my me and my girls went and saw it in the theater. Girl, we was going crazy. Mm, okay. But you can watch it um, if you have HBO Max. You can watch it mm-hmm. free there. But you, you okay. can watch it on YouTube for rent it for three ninety nine. You can watch it on Apple TV for three ninety. I'm probably sure I can um rent and it on my Prime Video too. Rent it on Amazon Prime Video for three ninety nine. But girl, I bought the DVD, honey, because mm, <laughs> sometimes I just need to watch it. <laughs> I definitely will. <laughs> definitely will. Girl, you all regret, and it's but it does have a good storyline too, though it's really good. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna put you on something too, and one more thing, and then I promise you, I'm gonna get up out of here. But okay, it's on BET. Okay. It's called All the Queensmen. Okay. I don't know if y'all remember Top Model and Eva. The uh, yeah. she got like the pretty yeah. eyes. She for she's yeah. the head lady. In that show, it's all the queens. That's a, a new uh show. They get ready to come out with season two. I love now, when I tell you, you talking about you talking about Magic Mike. She's beautiful. Go look at some of them up in that 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 all the queens means on BT. I sure I'm putting will. y'all on the sun. I sure will. And enjoy Magic Mike because he is mad. And you know who else has got in it is Matthew McConaughey. Oh, okay. He's fine. Just saying. Yeah, so I just, just we, we ain't throwing too many, we ain't throwing too many movies yeah, out. Yeah, you know but saying? it's we got, had to, we had to, yeah. we had to, you know, support my boy Devo with, you know, his topics and everything, <laughs> but just a little bit of stuff that we got going on here with the little uh, movies and stuff. Y'all make sure y'all write those down as well. But Magic really Mike good. does have a good storyline. Do you know about the movie Step It Up? Yeah, I know that. Where they dancing and stuff like that, they be dancing. Channing Tatum is the lead male role in that. And the girl Mm -hmm. lead role, they met on the set of that movie. That was his first movie, I do believe. And they met on the set of that movie and ended up getting married. And they're still married today. He's he's oh, like a, he's a good decent man too, which makes See, it even hotter. <laughs> you get look at you. <laughs> makes him even hotter, huh? Makes him even hotter. That makes him even hotter. That makes Here they go. More, there go my more kids more in the magical. background. All right, y'all. So y'all again comment below any t- any topic at uh we don't care we'll discuss it this is y'all's podcast as much as it is ours please yep. don't forget to click on the links in the description box go subscribe to queen b go subscribe to devo the Everbird. uh also yeah. if you do give us topics and we discuss those topics in the episode we will shout you out in those episodes so just to show you a little right. love and support and appreciation. Uh, thank you to everyone who has supported us thus far. Uh, I hope y'all will continue yep. to do so and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. And yep. please make sure you like this video on your way out. It's a lot more important than you think. And please subscribe to my channel, y'all. Right, right, right. And um, each and y'all just keep in mind that each and every Sunday, six p.m. Central, April time, seven Eastern, Eastern my time, we you know we going in. So just it keep prom- that date in mind every it, Sunday. And it premieres, which means we will be live in the con in the chat with y'all talking to yes. y'all. So just letting y'all know so we're super excited about this still and can't yep. wait for it to keep growing and right thank you to everyone who Let- has supported us and it's been april g showers aka the bar queen and your girl queen berry aka queen b okay y'all yeah make sure y'all follow my you know you yeah. too man come on yeah. i got a little videos up for y'all too yes. just a little bit too long yeah. i'll try to keep quiet but april put me on blast <laughs> and so and it was so funny though real quick before i go 
I didn't realize that my husband had changed my account around because normally it was just, you know, my regular Bianca and I yeah. was saying thank you. And then when I seen that, when, when I seen it, I was like, April just gave me a shot. I was like, and I didn't even realize it until I seen your shout out. I was like, oh, shit, shit it changed. <laughs> <laughs> I was and trying to, you know, I was I was trying to get through the doors quiet a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And hit everybody with a boom, you know, but I was like, well. <laughs> but, nah, but yeah, I cool. wasn't finna let you slide through like that. Uh-uh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Not around me, <laughs> but it's been the Bar Queen and Queen B with the Queen's Podcast. Queen's Cast. Y'all comment, comment. All right, we up out this thing. All right, y'all. Thank you, April. Love you, girl. Love you too. Peace out, y'all. Bye.